Joining me now from Ventura, California, owner of BSF Fitness Center, Lindsay Cohn. Lindsay, thank you for joining me. Uh, what is your reaction to the latest orders? We've obviously seen over the past few months that these lockdowns aren't working, and I also haven't seen any scientific data suggesting that gyms need to be shut down. That's funny you mentioned that. They actually said that in our case, that the benefits of exercise are known, the benefits of gyms are known, but yet it's illegal. That was their whole argument. No science behind it, no facts that were spreading the cases. In fact, we have proof that we do not spread these this virus at all. We help fight, we are the front line. We fight what makes this virus deadly in itself. So in my opinion, they're arbitrary lockdowns. He's just moving the goalpost from one point to the next, hopefully to match his lunch needs, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so tell us, uh, give us like a little bit of a timeline of everything that you've been through as a gym owner. So uh, take us back to the first time that you were shut down. And I remember that you had legal challenges. You were fighting back. You wanted to stay open because uh, obviously you didn't think it was fair that people could go to the liquor shop or go lurk around a Walmart or lick uh, shelves at a Costco, but they couldn't go to your gym. So walk us through it. Um, so we actually decided to open up May 16th, um, and from the first day we were harassed by code enforcement and then the DA, they came to our house. Um, we pursued, a, we had a legal battle um, with them that we did not pursue. They pursued us quite um, rigorously. They actually put a DUI case aside so that they could pursue us. Um, in an ex parte hearing, and they won um, with no science to back it up. We were actually held in contempt. Um, and then just recently in October, the judge found us uh, in contempt of over $10,000 in fines that we have to pay now, along with our full property taxes that are a, low, a little over 10,000 themselves too, two times a year. So just giving all of our money away, I guess, to the government. So, yeah. so that's where we're at now. So are you open right now or are you totally closed? Oh no, we're open. Okay. They're, they're gonna have to, to literally burn us down, which with what I see happening with the BLM movement and everything else, it, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what it comes to. Yeah. And again, the virus is real. It's, you know, spreads. I know people who've had it. I know people who have family members who passed away from it. But at the end of the day, what we've learned is that the lockdowns haven't been working. Uh, and again, there's no science or data suggesting that gyms need to be shut down, but everything else can be open and Gavin Newsom can go eat at the French Laundry indoors, even though he's against that. And so it must just be like frustrating. Are you waiting for people to kind of wake up and revolt? Because when businesses, the ones who are speaking out against these rules, um, they're being targeted and you know law enforcement shows up pretty fast and I'm not dinging law enforcement obviously there's pressure on them to to, to go after businesses um, and it's funny because you know Black Lives Matter and all these protests rioters and looters it's a free-for-all for them you know in the name of George Floyd they can go loot a footlocker but uh, as a business owner you can't make the decision to follow the CDC guidelines keep your place open do the best that you can uh, let people your customers and your gym goers and your members make the decision what's best for them I'd say it's pretty unhealthy for people not to work out. They say, uh, you know, you're not essential, but for some, for many, yeah, working out and fitness is essential. It's funny you say that because every county gym, every uh, law enforcement gym is indoors and open, but they're pursuing us. It's essential for them, but not as, so uh, who, who is essential and what, it doesn't make sense. There's no logic and, and you're exactly right. It's, it's, you can go out and protest or you can, you know, be a strip club or a dispensary or a liquor store. And I want everyone to be open. I don't think anyone should be closed. It is proven ineffective. I mean, Placer County, amen to them for standing up to Newsom and saying our suicide rate is more than our COVID death rate. This has got to stop and it needs to stop with, with our local leaders, our local government officials. They need to step up, but we've been fortunate to have a few local gyms around us that are willing to take the stand. The church we go to, Pastor Rob McCoy, he actually stripped at our service the other day. That was awesome. Um, <laughs> so that he can be essential. Um, the pizza cookery in Thousand Oaks is staying open. So we've gone to support them. But if you don't have a business to open, I call on everyone that, that lives in their city to go and support the people that are fighting to stay open, because this is a battle that is won with finances. That's Unfortunately enough, that's what the government wants is our money. And in order to stay open and, and 
be available for people to really be healthy and fight the virus when they get it, because chances are they're going to get it, you know, but you want to fight it. You want to be able to not succumb to the virus. And so that's what we do. We provide a place that's safe for everyone to do that. And we're not going to stop. Yeah, well, I guess you could maybe turn your gym into a strip club or something or like call it a Black Lives Matter protest and put the sign outside so everyone knows maybe they'll leave you alone because that's how it works. I just can't get over Garcetti. It's time to cancel everything. We got to cancel everything. Like, no, that's not how it works. And also, it's like, again, you know, people need to be safe, make good decisions for themselves. I, I, no one's saying that the elderly or people with underlining health conditions need to go work out. They don't need to, but everyone else should make the decisions that are best for them. And I know that a lot of people feel like they're negative impacted by not being able to go to a gym. A lot of people don't have yeah. the options to go outside right now. It's freezing cold. Who wants to go jog in the cold? And I actually, I worked out in San Diego as a couple months ago outdoors, and the guy who was giving training outdoors, he got shut down. Like, the city was trying to find him for doing outdoor training. Mm -hmm. Like, that is mm -hmm. how absurd it is. So, anyways, yeah. uh, Americans need to wake up and push back because yeah. these rules are arbitrary and the lawmakers who are making them won't even follow them themselves. Again, we wish you luck and uh, hopefully... This will all come to an end very soon. Thank you for having me. Of course.